Are you still using the native C sharp collections? Just like, you know, list or dictionary or hash maps or hash sets or whatever that comes to mind. Are you still using that? Oh, Jesus. Well, you know what? Maybe you should still use them. But some other times you will want to know about this new or recently new Unity package called com.unity.collections. In this package, you get access to a brand new set of collections and you really have to choose from there. In that case, you have so many data structures that you can actually profit from. The cool thing about this is the performance gains. And not only that, we are also talking about the possibility of using them in a multi-threaded context, or at least some of them, which is, you know what? Perfect, this is like pure gold for Unity because this will support the burst compiler and the job system, of course, and all the ecosystem right including dots so here you see the performance benchmarks where you get to see for example up to seven eight nine ten x improvements when comparing these new collections to those that have been implemented by default in c sharp now these collections are unmanaged so you need to be taking care of the allocation and also the disposal of those but you know what if you are watching this video and you and you like my channel, chances are high that you know already a bit about that. In any case, if you have questions about this, you can always go to my Unity Performance Task Force where I dedicate a full module on high performance collections. In fact, I can show you some of the examples that I prepared. For example, this capsule, if I play, you will see it being deformed or you know between you and me it's just shaking more than when i go running on the pitch just the belly you're just 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 age i promise i eat very well so for example here i just iterate over the vertices and extrude them compared to the normal sorry, based on the normal direction and i also use some random all of that using high performance collection and also the job system all together actually i think i even used the the burst compiler so that's something that you can do very efficiently or much more efficiently than if you used i don't know so for example a list of floats that's boring you should stop doing that okay and here I also go around some other examples of how to use the native list, native array, native stream, uh, even for example, a fixed list that has like a fixed size, right? in this case, 32 bytes out of those two are overhead. So here you have 30 bytes just for you to manage as well as you want or as bad as you want. We also have native hash map, native text, which I'm pretty excited about because that lets you get rid of the 10 GC allocations, right? I don't like a lot to play with strings and games just because of that. Very often when you play with strings, you end up allocating memory and that's not great for the well-being of your users, right? and even the unsafe atomic counter. So I explained some of those in the module of the Unity Pex 4 performance task force, but my suggestion is just go here to the website, check for the latest version, which tends to be hidden for whatever reason. I have my ideas, but why not? And then have a look here at the collections overview. There is this collection types page, and here you will see a huge list of containers for every single taste out there. You don't feel like using an array of integers? Good. Just use a native array. Okay, nice. You don't feel like using a dictionary of integer to whatever, some structure of yours? Good. Then use, you know, the native hash map. Do you actually want to do that, but also in a multi-threaded context? Well, then just go ahead and use the native parallel hash map data structure, okay? I'm not lying to you, I promise you. Native parallel hash map. Amazing, isn't it? Have a look at this web page and also have a look at the performance comparisons and then you make your calls. All in all, I can say that this is uh, very useful in terms of programming games in Unity because it's going to help you reduce the memory usage and the performance cost of 
just having collections, right? Which is something critical that we do in games. All right, if you want to get some time uh, saved, if you want to just get into the most important parts of these topics, just make sure to have a look at my Unity Performance Task Force and then you get to choose one module for free when you join. Make sure this is one of those modules because you're going to learn a lot. All right, hope this was useful. Good luck with the reading of the documentation and happy programming.